Howdy, you little shitheads. This is Bogeyman, and welcome to a lovely little product review. Uh, today I've got the Logitech G105, and it is a membrane, fully membrane keyboard. Uh, it cost me about 30 bucks about three years ago, maybe a bit more at the time, because it was at the time a brand new keyboard. Um, this is, as I said, completely membrane. There's no mechanical switches. Um, you know, it, it was a good keyboard while it lasted um, I upgraded to the Razer Ornata Chroma just because I wanted a larger um, keyboard a larger form than what this is as you can tell it's like quite small it's only probably about nine centimeters ish um, tall like from spacebar to the num number of it, it, it has a lot of wasted real estate as like from the function keys up you know it's not really a lot up there and it's a lot area that's been wasted with a smaller keyboard it does come with six macro keys macro buttons and a program and some programmable other macro buttons um as you can tell it is a membrane keyboard um with Different colored W, A, S, and D keys, um, okay, and different R keys, so it's not all the same. Um, it does have a little bit of a wrist rest, but it's not, nothing really major while you're using it. Um, it does come with four different lighting settings there's off, there's a low, a medium, and high. There is also a um, button. That disables all Windows key um, presses. Um, it just stops any sort of Windows key press while gaming. So in, in a sense, it is a gaming mode. But there's a couple of problems with this, as I said earlier, all the waste of real estate and the fact that it's quite small and old. I've had it for three years, maybe. I can't quite remember. But like, it was. A good keyboard to start PC gaming. Um, I've sort of gone in and out. I started with PC gaming. I was really into it with like Minecraft at the time when I was a young 13 year old. Um, but then I moved over to console gaming for a while. It was like that was sort of the way to go. Um, then I've moved back into PC gaming with Counter Strike and I needed much more of a reactive and larger um, keyboard as like I can reach end to end like top top row of the function key to the bottom space to the bottom like with my hand and I need quite a larger keyboard then pressing yeah, straight down so then I got the razor on another chroma it's a mecha membrane I'll do a, a later review um, when the when the review is out the uh, link will be in the, in the description or annotation uh, top right hand corner up here for learn how to do that but there will be an annotation to that video or link in the description um, but yeah like as a beginning keyboard it, it's a great keyboard especially on a budget um, my Razor one out of Chroma costs 170 Australian dollars just why I say Australian dollars because I am Australian you know bogeyman um, but yeah And uh, I want to say there's mainly a couple of cons uh, with this keyboard than pros. Um, the macro keys are a nice addition as it is a gaming keyboard, the G105 from Logitech. But yeah, it was just an upgrade, just to a much needed upgrade and sort of a way, less waste of the time. These are the keycaps. And not like sort of like they're a bit taller than the mid height but they're not quite a full height key but they're a bit taller than mid height or they're a bit taller than my oh they're about the same size as, as my razor or nana maybe a bit more can't quite tell because I haven't had some by, side by side I will have a side by side comparison when I get it, when I get to the chance, 
but overall, decent keyboard on a budget. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, dislike. I really couldn't care. Um, leave a comment what your beginning sort of keyboard was, um, what you used to start gaming, and then what you've got now. Um, and any sort of like mouse recommendations to play games like Counter Strike as I'm starting to rebuild in. Um, I'll do a review on my Logitech G300 um, later on as well. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.